Brings up second down for the Cyclones. Shaker on the carry. Now I'll go listen to it on my phone and see what it looks like. 33 loop up on the jacket. We're live right now. Yeah, we normally swap. Okay. No, we didn't want football. The other football and basketball. basketball, we just paused because it was short enough. Okay. And then uh, the other we swap. Draft the ball carrier. Second made by 22, Kyle McClellan. It's a fourth down for the Cyclones. Show me like it's super zoomed in. Coming on 37 yard line. Can you see it? On the kick. Four out of the number 11. Yeah. Is that people. one's going to your phone too? I don't know yet. Number three, Chris Chase is deep to return. Chase from the 36 yard line on the return. Taken out of the 40. And on the tackle for Ottawa. Kaden Schaefer. Take it down to the backfield for the Cyclones. 76, Josh Charles on the stop. Loss of a yard on the play. Brings up second down and 11. Well, Connor on the carry, tackle made by number 75, Kurt Ferguson for the Cyclones. No gain on the play. Third down uh, for the Wildcats. Every time I get close to getting there, he texts me again after respond. Scott or Brad? <laughs> huh? Scott or Brad? Scott. He's not complaining about the picture. I don't know if he's actually looking at it, though. He looked good in the center on it, at least. Chase's pass incomplete. Brings up fourth down for the Wildcats. Serpy on the return. Tackle made. The Wildcats 61. Drew Carter. Where's the big man? Mark it! Mark it! Cyclones take over. First and 10. From their own 8 yard line. Mark it! Mark it! Mark it! Keep doing it! Come on! I bet you AJ. AJ! No, no, he's out. 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 He's out.
No way. Getting pretty hard to the play. Second down and seven. Pretty two cool read the ball carrier for Ottawa. Game on the play to the 15 yard line. Third down and four for the Cyclones from their own 15. Taking down the backfield. That's that's good information. 59 TJ McCurin on the tackle for the Wildcats. Brings up fourth down for the Cyclones. Number 11, Corey Peoples, will punt for the Cyclones. A deep return for the Wildcats. Number 3, Chris Chase. All I'm seeing is feet. Chase on the return from the 40 yard line. Taken down to number 5, Dalton Graves for the Cyclones. First and 10 for the Wildcats from the Cyclone 31. Put it Daniel O'Connor on the carry. Okay. 
I'm in, and now more than ever, I support and inspire my family. With my young children, going to a brick and mortar school was kind of difficult. I noticed that CTU gave me the best option. Today, I'm a staff level logistics engineer. I like the flexibility. I don't have to punch a clock. I have four kids in college right now. They've seen me stay focused. It's a necessity to have a higher education. Just spending that quality time, I think, is really important. O'Brien now in trouble and he'll go down. The penalty flag is thrown. They'll say it's an incomplete forward pass. What's the flag? It's intentional grounding called against the Wildcats. So O'Brien just trying to do anything with the football. And so intentional grounding is the call. back to the 43 and they'll mark off another five on that. It's also a loss of down. So now it's second down. Back at the 37. three receivers in the set, and O'Brien's going to work out of the shotgun. Well, bad snap. O'Brien rolls left now. Look. 
throws, pass overthrown. It was intended out there for the tight end, Hayden Guterman. Schaefer had the coverage, and had that pass been thrown at a normal level, Schaefer might have picked it off. Third and long for the Wildcats. Ryan did a nice job there. Being able to pick up that football and at least get the throw off. Same formation. O'Connor goes right. Jason Meyer to the near side here. Straight back. Looking to set up the middle screen. They've got it. And the pass is going to be incomplete. It was intended out there for Huff. Went off his hand. One of the Cyclones had a chance to pick it off. Fell out of his hand and finally rolled to the ground. So fourth and long and O'Connor will kick it away. Line drive kick, Griffey will pick it up at the 23 to the 25 and hit and stuck at around the 27. Wayne Carlson made the tackle. And with 5.09 to play in the first half, Ottawa has it first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Leads it 14 0. Two touchdown runs by Daniel O'Connor, one of one yard, one of two yards. Second down, two. Huff gets the handoff, and he has nothing there. Pushed back, might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. We'll see where we'll see where they mark his forward progress. Don't say no gain on the play. Third down and two. Bradley threw wide to the left. Receiver right is Meyer. Ottawa was showing blitz, and Corey Keepers came across too early. Bit on the hard count, and that'll give Lewisburg the first down by penalty at the Ottawa 46. Keeping is O'Brien. Now in trouble. And he'll go down. The penalty flag is thrown. They'll say it's an incomplete forward pass. What's the flag? It's a potential grounding call against the Wildcats. So O'Brien just trying to do anything with the football. And so intentional grounding is the call. Moss is back to the 43, and they'll mark off another five on that. It's also a loss of down. So now it's second down. Back at the 37. Second down and 26. The 
times three receivers in the set, and O'Brien's going to work out of the shotgun. Well, bad snap. O'Brien rolls left now, looks, throws, pass overthrown. It was intended out there for the tight end, Hayden Guterman. Schaefer had the coverage, and had that pass been thrown at a normal level, Schaefer might have picked it off. Third and long for the Wildcats. Ryan did a nice job there. Being able to pick up that football, at least get the throw off. Same formation, O'Connor goes right. Jason Meyer to the near side here. Straight back, looking to set up the middle screen. They've got it, and the pass is gonna be incomplete. It was intended out there for Huff. Went off his hand. One of the Cyclones had a chance to pick it off. Fell out of his hand and finally rolled to the ground. So fourth and long and O'Connor will kick it away. Line drive kick, Griffey will pick it up at the 23 to the 25 and hit and stuck at around the 27. Wayne Carlson made the tackle. And with 5.09 to play in the first half, Ottawa has it first and 10 at their own 27 yard line. Leads it 14 0. Two touchdown runs by Daniel O'Connor, one of one yard, one of two yards. out of the ball game. People have been for Ottawa. As is Wallace. I think that's a Dillard. Dillard and Lewis split to this side of the field. And off inside the Peoples. Trying to fight forward. Now broke a tackle. They managed to pick up a couple of yards. gain of about a yard and a half. Second down, long eight. Both teams have all their timeouts. Lewisburg on top, 14 nothing. Hand off to Schaefer. Schaefer rolls forward into Lewisburg territory at the 49 yard line. But once again, those snaps from center are so high that it's throwing the timing of the playoff. Derek Crossley has got to do a better job of getting that ball just back to grab it around shoulder level. These are around helmet level. Third down and about four. Graf keeps it himself up the middle, has the first down. Trying to get to the outside, and is brought down at about the 43-yard line. I'm not sure if that was a plan play or not, but Graf called his own number, took it up the middle to pick up the first down. Adams and Reed into the lineup for Ottawa. receivers left. Lewis comes to this side. Rapp rolling left and is going to be hit in the backfield. That was a planned run it appeared and Kraft loses about three.
Clock is running, 2.22 to play first half. Second down and 13. Graff will go under center this time. Puts the throw. Now in trouble. Rolls away from it. Throws. And the ball is dropped by Andre Lewis. Flag is down in the Ottawa backfield. against the Cyclone. Holding against Ottawa. The spot of the foul, that'll push it all the way back to the 41-yard line. And bring up a third down and 25. Take that second down and 25. at 54 to play in the half. Hand off to Schaefer. Gets it across the 45, the 50, breaks it in the open. Down the sidelines, it's the foot race. Schaefer to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown Ottawa. Caden Schaefer broke off a tackle, took it to the outside, and goes 59 yards for the touchdown. Cyclones will go for two. Graf in the shotgun. Graf. Keeps it himself, tries to get around the corner. He's into the end zone for the two-point conversion. There's timeout on the field with a minute 41 to play in the first half and the score. Lewisburg 14, Ottawa 8. And we're back with the kickoff in 30 seconds. This is Cyclone Football on KOFO. This is Margie Hindelider with People's Bank in Ottawa. I want to invite you to come find out what banking unusual could mean for you. At People's, you'll bank with friends and neighbors you know and trust. We've been here since 1871, and we'll be here tomorrow, too. So come get out of the heat, enjoy some free AC, and one of our famous cookies, too. You'll see why Ottawa has voted us the best bank in town. People's in Ottawa, the home of Banking Unusual, member FDIC. Ottawa scores on a 73-yard drive. Kate Schaefer, a 59-yard run for the touchdown, and then Taylor Graff on the keeper for the two-point conversion. Dalton Wydell will kick it off. Connor back deep. And let's see who that other one is. like that's Meyer back deep. Line drive kick, fielded by an up back at the 29 yard line. Across the 35, and bites it forward to the 40. And that was Clark Gregory picking that ball up. So pretty good field position. Lewisburg with a minute 35 on the clock and all three of the timeouts. Has come up on first and ten. Ryan on the delay to O'Connor has some running room, trying to get to the outside and does, and is tripped up. Taylor Graff tripped him up, or that might have been down the sideline for six. 
gain of 12 and a first down for the Wildcats. Two receivers each side. Trap play to Hup, and Hup has no place to go. Just back to the line of scrimmage. In fact, might have lost a half a yard. Now Lewisburg will burn a timeout. And it's 12 to play in the first half. Lewisburg 14, Ottawa 8. And we'll be back in 30 seconds with the Cyclone football on KOFO. When a business has been locally owned and operated since 1956, you know it's reliable. That's what you get with Ottawa Sanitation. Providing reliable customer service, all types of trash hauling, household poly carts, and roll-off containers from 1 to 42 yards. Ottawa Sanitation also offers recycling services, accepting Visa, MasterCards, and checks by phone. They're so reliable, I'm surprised it's not in their name. The reliable Ottawa Sanitation, serving Ottawa and all the surrounding communities, call 242-3227 to get set up. Bones Transportation, proud to the half. Lewisburg has a second down and 10 at the Ottawa 48. Wildcats have an eye formation in the backfield. Huff and O'Connor behind Nate O'Brien. And off O'Connor and get to the line of scrimmage in the yard before Kevin Adams will make the tackle. Gain of about two on the play. Let's call it third down and a long eight. Fire left and chase right. Ryan takes to the line, now under pressure, hit as he throws, up for grabs, and incomplete. Cole Reed had the pressure on O'Brien. Pass was intended for McClellan, and fourth down. And it looks like Lewisburg will not take the risk here. They have O'Connor back in that Hunt formation, Australian football type formation. Line drive kick to the far sideline. Nobody back for Ottawa. And the ball will roll out of bounds at the nine with 31 seconds on the clock. Wildcats will get the ball first in the second half of play. They deferred the option. High School Football Scoreboard Show comes your way tonight at 10 o'clock here on KOFO. Eric Peterson will take you around the state to get you scores and reports on high school games on this third week of the 2012 season. And Graf will take a knee and that'll run the clock out. first half of play here from Steve Grogan Stadium in the Cyclone home opener. And Lewisburg leads the Ottawa Cyclones by the score of 14 to 8. We'll be back after this two-minute break. You're listening to Ottawa High School Football on 1220 Country KOFO. Bones Transportation, proud to be a sponsor of baseball on KOFO. Tune in to KOFO for all your local sports, and we hope you're enjoying the broadcast of tonight's game. Hasty Awards has what it takes for your team, event, or business when it comes to medals, plaques, trophies, ribbons, and promotional products. Check them out on the web at hastyawards.com. 
How important was it for Rick Smith of Ottawa to buy local at South Star Chrysler when he was in the market for a new truck? That's extremely important to me. To anything that I do, I try and do locally here in Ottawa for the simple fact that it keeps the money and the taxes close to home. Uh, it keeps those doors open at, uh, at the businesses here in town. If you're looking for your next car or truck, it's ready and waiting at your local five-star rated Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealer. South Star Chrysler on West 23rd Street in Ottawa. Lovemark Diamonds are the world's first and only diamond computer designed for maximum light performance. It has measured beauty you can actually see. The Lovemark Diamond is so unique it's patented. When picking out a diamond, whether it's for popping the question or to say how much you love her, why not give her what she deserves? A Lovemark Diamond from Sutton's Jewelry. Sutton's Jewelry, the home of the Lovemark Diamond, open 10 to 6 Tuesday through Friday and Saturdays till 2 in downtown Ottawa. Do you remember the neighborhood grocery store of the past? Tom's Main Street Market is your downtown Ottawa neighborhood grocery store. New at Tom's Main Street Market is Fago 20-ounce sodas in seven different flavors. Root beer, pineapple orange, strawberry, orange, peach, rock and Ryan grape. Quench your thirst with the popular favorite Sioux City Sarsaparilla Cream Soda. Tom's Main Street Market wants you to know he'll be open on cruise night on Saturday, September 15th, and open late on October 5th for ladies' night out. Tom's Main Street Market, 230 and a half Main Street in downtown Ottawa. At time here at Steve Grogan Stadium, and Ottawa trails Lewisburg by 6, 14 to 8. The Wildcats got on the board first, one-yard run by Daniel O'Connor. That capped a 31-yard touchdown drive. O'Connor scored on a fourth and goal play. Jason Danciak added the extra point to make it 7 to nothing with a minute one to play in the first period. Lewisburg got the ball right back after a fine punt return by Chris Chase and a conversion. And a 73-yard drive, Ottawa got on the board to make it 14-8. And that is where we stand here at halftime. It is Wall of Honor night, so we'll have an elongated halftime program. We're going to send it back to the station for two minutes now. Ottawa trails 14-8, and you are listening to Cyclone Football on 1220 Country, KOFO. For family dentistry, call Dr. Richard Hale at 242-1800. Celebrating 25 years of family dentistry in Ottawa, located on West 15th Street. New patients are always welcome for preventive care, tooth extractions, including wisdom teeth, reconstructive and cosmetic dentistry. They accept all insurance companies, Delta Dental, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and United Concordia, to name a few. For dentistry for the entire family, call Dr. Richard Hale, 242-1800. I could give you many reasons why you should shop at Country Mart in Ottawa, but one of the main reasons is because of what Gary and Cindy Jones give back to our community. The Ottawa Country Mart is always supporting area organizations and activities, always sponsoring community events and giving scholarships to area students. Yes, you can buy groceries other places in Ottawa, but will you find the community support that you find at Ottawa Country Mart? Country Mart, your locally owned hometown grocery store in South Ottawa. So you're in need of some car repair. You gotta be kidding me! Let CarStar in downtown Ottawa take care of you. When you call 1-800-CARSTAR, you'll speak with a live representative who will help you arrange a tow truck. And using their new enterprise rental service, get you a rental car. Not only will CarStar get you temporary help, but they'll repair your vehicle backed with a local lifetime warranty and a five-year nationwide warranty. CarStar at 107 North Main in downtown Ottawa. Now get the identity theft protection you need from your checking account. Arvest Bank's new ID Protect service monitors credit for eligible family members in your household, gives you quarterly access to your credit report and score, alerts you of suspicious activity, provides assistance if theft occurs, and reimburses certain costs to restore your credit. ID Protect is available with any Arvest checking account. For more information, stop by a branch or visit Arvest.com. Arvest Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions may apply. We are your sports source for East Central Kansas. We're keeping you informed comes first. KOFO Ottawa, KMXN HD2 Osage City. We're at halftime here at Steve Grogan Stadium in Ottawa and Lewisburg leads the Ottawa Cyclones 14-8 in this Frontier League ball game. Next week, Ottawa back on the road. They travel to Kansas City to take on St. James Academy. That game will be played at St. Thomas Aquinas High School and 7 o'clock kickoff. Our pregame will begin at 6.40 here on 1220 Country. I mentioned earlier it is Wall of Honor night, and our own Derek Chappell doing the PA here at Ottawa High, and he's announcing the three newest members of the Wall of Honor, who, uh, which also includes 
KOFO's own Brad Howard. This year's inductees are Gene Galugli McCauley, the late Gene uh, McCauley, uh, Judith Jamison Dubois, and Kathleen Gamet Schultz. So they are being introduced at this time to the crowd here at the stadium. And pretty good crowd on hand here tonight for the home opener. We're glad to see that. And of course, anytime you cannot be at the ball game in person, we are certainly happy to have you on the radio. Uh, we'll be in, back at uh, uh, Steve Grogan Stadium in a couple of weeks when Ottawa High will take on Paola at homecoming action. Let's take a look at other area high school action going on this evening. Our KOFO Game of the Week down at Central Heights tonight. The Vikings hosting the Osawatomie Trojans. Central Heights to win last week over Burlington. Osawatomie coming in at 0-2. Our Osage County Game of the Week on KMXN 92.9 FM HD2 as the 2-0 West Franklin Falcons hosting the 2-0 Linda Tigers in the annual Buzzers Bowl. That's at KOFO, or I'm sorry, KMXN 92.9 FM HD2 and also KOFO.com. The other Franklin County School, the Wellsville Eagles coming into the night's action 0-2 down at Prairie View in Pioneer League action. Perryview Buffaloes are 1-1 one one on the year. Anderson County is a tough test tonight, traveling to Pittsburgh to take on the Colgan Panthers. Anderson County 1-1, one one, while Colgan comes in at 2-0. Ottawa's, uh, Ottawa's opponent for next week, St. James Academy, is 2-0. They host the 2-0 Baldwin Bulldogs tonight up in Kansas City. Eudora, the runner-up last year in Class 4A, hosts DeSoto in their annual rivalry game. Soto 1-1 one one after their win last week against Ottawa. Paola Panthers, uncharacteristically 0-2 at this point in the season, are at Spring Hill tonight in Frontier League action, taking on the Spring Hill Broncos. Perry Lynn Compton is at Santa Fe Trail in Big 7 League action. Both teams are 0-2. Osage City 1-1 one one on the year at home tonight against Harrington. And Meredithine Valley is 1-1, one and, one, and they're hosting Southern Coffee County. Here at halftime, it is Lewis Lowe. Advantage Ford in Ottawa has the best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs in all makes and models in the area. And we are the only new car dealership to offer in-house dealer finance. Everyone is approved at Advantage Ford. Come visit us today at Advantage Ford, 402 North Main in Ottawa, 785-242-5100, or visit us online at AdvantageFordOttawa.com. Generations of Americans have depended on the Arco Air brand for comfort combined with value. Hands-on engineering expertise with the latest advances in technology give Arco Air cooling and heating systems high ratings for both efficiency and durability. For a free home comfort consultation, call Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling, 242-9273. Adamson Brothers, your local Arco Air dealer at First and Walnut in Ottawa. Arco Air, 100% reliable, 100% comfort. Here's another safety tip from Performance Electric. One of the most important devices when considering safety in your home is ground fault detector outlets. These should be installed in bathrooms, kitchens, basements, garages, and anywhere else water could come in contact with you while you're using an electrical device. GFI outlets protect you and your family from serious injury and death. Call Performance Electric in Ottawa at 785-242-5748. That's 242-5748. <laughs> It's 
Subway's birthday, and everyone celebrating with their $5 footlong faves. Many of the subs you love, like the Italian BMT, turkey breast, egg and cheese, and more, are $5 footlongs, September only. Join the sub prize party at Subway. Limited time only, participating restaurants, additional charges for extras, plus taxi stores for $5 footlong selection, prices higher in Alaska and Hawaii. And we're now being entertained by the Ottawa High School marching band after the Cyclonet dance team entertained us earlier during this halftime celebration. It is Wall of Honor night here at Ottawa High, and the Cyclones trail at halftime 14 to 8. Let's take a look at the Ottawa High School sports calendar for the week. Ottawa High Volleyball will play at the Rossville Invitational tomorrow, and then they will be at Baldwin in Frontier League action on Tuesday before back home to host the Ottawa Triangular on Thursday. Boys soccer a busy week. They will be hosting Topeka Hayden on Monday, traveling to Baldwin for a match on Tuesday. Excuse me, and then back home on Thursday against the Eudora Cardinals. Cross Country will compete at the Bonner Springs Invitational tomorrow. And, of course, Ottawa High football is in action next week at St. James Academy. Again, that game will be played at St. Thomas Aquinas in Overland Park. And it's a 7 o'clock kickoff, 6.40 pregame here on 1220 Country KOFO. We'll take a look at the Ottawa University sports calendar after we take this two-minute timeout. Ottawa trails 14-8. to 8. This is Cyclone Football on KOFO. The staff at Lamb Roberts Funeral Home is there to serve you with care and professionalism. Offering traditional funeral services, cremation services, and funeral pre-planning at a time that is always difficult. Providing your family the world-class service the hometown folks like you deserve. The Lamb Roberts Funeral Home will help you personally design a meaningful celebration of remembrance. Call Greenwood Roberts Funeral Home in Overbrook or Lamb Roberts Funeral Home in Ottawa and Baldwin to assist you in honoring your loved one's life. Some of the pharmacies in the area no longer accept all companies' prescription insurance. Kramer Pharmacy accepts pretty much all of them. For your prescription coverage, you know you'll be covered with Kramer Pharmacy. For assistance, stop by Kramer Pharmacy in downtown Ottawa and they can help get you set up and ready to go. Of course, they do accept Medicare and they'll even bring it to your door. Kramer Pharmacy. Give them a call, 785-242-2055. Kramer Pharmacy, located at 134 South Main here in Ottawa. Carswell Automotive is Franklin County's only certified auto repair shop. What's that mean to you? That means that you'll have the peace of mind knowing that all the work completed on your vehicle at Carswell Automotive comes with a 12-month, 12,000-mile nationwide guarantee. Carswell Automotive is also an Automotive Service Association member and adheres to a strict code of ethics. So when you bring your vehicle in for repair, you can be assured that you will receive quality work at a reasonable price. Carswell Automotive, where quality is their specialty, at 2146 South Elm Street. This is Margie Hindelider with People's Bank in Ottawa. I want to invite you to come find out what banking unusual could mean for you. At People's, you'll bank with friends and neighbors you know and trust. We've been here since 1871, and we'll be here tomorrow, too. So come get out of the heat, enjoy some free AC, and one of our famous cookies, too. You'll see why Ottawa has voted us the best bank in town. People's in Ottawa, the home of Banking Unusual, member FDIC. A couple of programming notes for you. We have the high school football scoreboard show tonight at 10 o'clock with your host, Eric Peterson. Eric will have scores from games around the state of Kansas. I do have one score to report to you, actually, from uh, down at Central Heights, our KOFO Game of the Week. Central Heights leads Osawatomie at halftime score there 20 to nothing. That score and others on the Kansas High School football scoreboard show tonight at 10 o'clock. Tomorrow it is Ottawa University football from People's Bank Field where Ottawa takes on the St. Mary Spires. 6 o'clock kickoff, 5 o'clock pregame with Bob Johnson here on 1220 Country. And of course Bob hosts the K Kessinger show every week live from drivers in North Ottawa. That's Tuesday night following the 7 o'clock news. Join Bob and Coach Kessinger for the Kent Kessinger Show on Tuesday nights here on 1220 Country KOFO. Take a look at the Ottawa University sports calendar. Uh, OU Volleyball is at home tonight. They're taking on 26th ranked Mid-American Nazarene. That's a big match for Ottawa University, who's receiving votes in the latest NAI poll for volleyball. Tomorrow they'll be at home against Bethany. And uh, that's a big match for Ottawa's first uh, KCAC match of the season. 
Men's soccer on Wednesday will be at Central Methodist. Women's soccer, I think, was playing today, or check that, plays tomorrow at San Diego Christian. So they're out in California right now. They picked up a win against Hope International University 2-1 to one yesterday. And then on Wednesday, women's soccer will be at Central Methodist along with the guys. And OU Cross Country is at Colorado College for a meet this weekend. Of course, all of these uh, events can be found in the 2012-13 KOFO Sports Guide. I'll pass along one other thing for you, too, OU-wise. Uh, Ottawa University tennis in its first year under Coach Lance Lyson, they will be at Emporia to take on Emporia State, and that will be on Wednesday of next week. So OU men's and women's tennis, they got underway on the 11th and 12th uh, against Johnson County Community College. They'll be at Emporia to take on Emporia State on Wednesday. But all of these events can be found in the KOFO Sports Guide, and you can pick up your copy at a number of locations around the area, including out at KOFO. Here at halftime, it's Lewisburg 14, Ottawa 8, and we'll be back after this two-minute break. This is Cyclone Football on 1220 Country, KOFO. When a business has been locally owned and operated since 1956, you know it's reliable. That's what you get with Ottawa Sanitation. Providing reliable customer service, all types of trash hauling, household polycarts, and roll-off containers from 1 to 42 yards. Ottawa Sanitation also offers recycling services, accepting Visa, MasterCards, and checks by phone. They're so reliable, I'm surprised it's not in their name. The reliable Ottawa Sanitation, serving Ottawa and all the surrounding communities, call 242-3227 to get set up. Bones Transportation, proud to be a sponsor of baseball on KOFO. Tune in to KOFO for all your local sports, and we hope you're enjoying the broadcast of tonight's game. Hasty Awards has what it takes for your team, event, or business when it comes to medals, plaques, trophies, ribbons, and promotional products. Check them out on the web at hastyawards.com. How important was it for Rick Smith of Ottawa to buy local at South Star Chrysler when he was in the market for a new truck? That's extremely important to me. To, if anything that I do, I try and do locally here in Ottawa for the simple fact that it keeps the money and the taxes close to home. Uh, it keeps those doors open at, uh, at the businesses here in town. If you're looking for your next car or truck, it's ready and waiting at your local five-star rated Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealer. South Star Chrysler on West 23rd Street in Ottawa. Lovemark Diamonds are the world's first and only diamond computer designed for maximum light performance. It has measured beauty you can actually see. The Lovemark Diamond is so unique it's patented. When picking out a diamond, whether it's for popping the question or to say how much you love her, why not give her what she deserves? A Lovemark Diamond from Sutton's Jewelry. Sutton's Jewelry, the home of the Lovemark Diamond, open 10 to 6 Tuesday through Friday and Saturdays till 2 in downtown Ottawa. Bobcats back out on the field. Cyclones not out of the locker room as of yet. Pittsburgh leads it 14-8. Two touchdown runs by Daniel O'Connor. One on a fourth and goal play from one yard out and the other from two yards out. Stanciak has converted two extra point attempts. Ottawa scoring on a 59-yard run by senior running back Kate Schaefer. Taylor Graff tacked on the two-point conversion. And Ottawa down by six here at intermission, 14 to eight. Of course, Lewisburg, the state champion two years ago. Wildcats lost a tough one last week at home against Eudora, 21 to 20. And you knew they'd be fired up coming into this one, but Ottawa has stayed with the Wildcats. A couple of short fields for Lewisburg has helped them immensely. Ottawa's done a pretty good job of keeping the offense of Lewisburg in check here in the first half of play. Both teams now out doing their stretching. And we'll have the second half of play coming your way in a couple of minutes. It's 14 to 8. Lewisburg with the lead. And the second half kickoff after this break. You're listening to Cyclone Football on 1220 Country KOFO. 
Do you remember the neighborhood grocery store of the past? Tom's Main Street Market is your downtown Ottawa neighborhood grocery store. New at Tom's Main Street Market is Fago 20-ounce sodas in seven different flavors. Root beer, pineapple orange, strawberry, orange, peach, Rock and Ryan grape. Quench your thirst with the popular favorite Sioux City Sarsaparilla Cream Soda. Tom's Main Street Market wants you to know he'll be open on cruise night on Saturday, September 15th, and open late on October 5th for ladies' night out. Tom's Main Street Market, 230 and a half Main Street in downtown Ottawa. For family dentistry, call Dr. Richard Hale at 242-1800. Celebrating 25 years of family dentistry in Ottawa, located on West 15th Street. New patients are always welcome for preventive care, tooth extractions, including wisdom teeth, reconstructive and cosmetic dentistry. They accept all insurance companies, Delta Dental, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and United Concordia, to name a few. For dentistry for the entire family, call Dr. Richard Hale, 242-1800. I could give you many reasons why you should shop at Country Mart in Ottawa, but one of the main reasons is because of what Gary and Cindy Jones give back to our community. The Ottawa Country Mart is always supporting area organizations and activities, always sponsoring community events and giving scholarships to area students. Yes, you can buy groceries other places in Ottawa, but will you find the community support that you find at Ottawa Country Mart? Country Mart, your locally owned hometown grocery store in South Ottawa. So you're in need of some car repair. You gotta be kidding me! Let CarStar in downtown Ottawa take care of you. When you call 1-800-CARSTAR, you'll speak with a live representative who will help you arrange a tow truck. And using their new enterprise rental service, get you a rental car. Not only will CarStar get you temporary help, but they'll repair your vehicle backed with a local lifetime warranty and a five-year nationwide warranty. CarStar at 107 North Main in downtown Ottawa. 14 days, Lewisburg, Ottawa will kick off, start the second half, got about a minute left stretching time, elongated halftime with the Wall of Honor introduction in those three Cyclone standouts with late Gene McCauley, Susan Jameson Dubois, and Kathleen Gannett Schultz. Our congratulations to those three for joining the other 48, there's now 51 people on the Ottawa High School Wall of Honor. And, of course, a great honor for any OHS graduate. So the captains won't even meet at the 50-yard line. I guess we'll just get right to football. Ottawa's going to kick, and Lewisburg's going to move left to right as we see it. Wildcats are sent back deep. Blue Cup. And Daniel O'Connor. A couple of short touchdown runs for Daniel O'Connor for Lewisburg. Kate Schaefer with a 59 yard run for Ottawa. Dalton Wydell will tee it up for the Cyclones. drive kick, fielded by an up back at the 31, and out to the 35 goes Wyatt Sander, a 6'3", 190-pound junior running back. So Lewisburg will start from its own 35-yard line. Nate O'Brien has gone all the way at quarterback. come up with Pup and O'Connor in the eye formation behind him. Actually kind of an offset eye. Pitch back O'Connor in the backfield but got away from it. Now breaks it across the 40 and out to about the 42, maybe the 43. And the ball stripped away by Taylor Graham. He's going down the sideline. He's headed for the end zone. And let's see, it will be spotted dead, it appears. Back at the 43, but wait just a second. Official standing at the 43-yard line, and they may have said that O'Connor was stopped. His forward progress was 
stopped at the 43, but Graff stripped the football. The initial call by the referee was touchdown Ottawa, but the linesman standing at that 43-yard line, and it would look like this was going to come back. And they're going to say that O'Connor was down. His forward progress had been stopped. Referee's continuing to confer. And they're going to say that O'Connor's forward progress was stopped. Mark Bergen is not very happy, and rightfully so. The question is whether or not O'Connor was still trying to gain yardage. Now, at some point in time, you do blow the whistle in that situation. The question was, had there been a whistle blown? So instead of a Cyclone touchdown, It'll be second down and three. And off O'Connor again, cuts it against the grain, picks up the first down to the 47. Mickey Jensen was in on the stop for the Cyclones, also at the bottom of the pile, Corey Peoples. just kind of knew when that referee was standing there at the 43 that the play was going to come back. O'Brien hands it off to O'Connor again, off the right tackle, and is tripped up by Kate Schaefer as he reaches midfield. That'll be a pickup of three. Seven oh nine to play in the third period. Meyer and Chase split to the far side of the field. Keeping is O'Brien and is tripped up, gets down to the 47. And it looks like it was Schaefer that tripped him up. It'll bring up third down and about four. Josh Charles comes into the Ottawa lineup. Find the Twins come this way. And Huff right up the middle gets nothing. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Charles was in on the play. And he got help from Schaefer, so a fourth down situation. down and a long three and Lewisburg will come up in an offensive formation and whistles and a flag will go down that'll be a false start so now on fourth and eight you would expect the Wildcats to kick it comes out, Griffey in, he'll be the deep man. Connor standing only about five yards behind the line of scrimmage. Gets a quick kick away, Griffey will field it on the run at the 25, Griffey to the 35, to the 36 yard line. And Ottawa will have pretty good field position to start the drive. Brings the Cyclones up. Lone back in the backfield is Kate Schaefer. Cole Reed comes in motion left. 
And off Schaefer up the middle. Fights his way forward for a couple to the 38. Second and eight for the Cyclone. Brady Wallace comes this side as a receiver. Zach Dilbert to the far side. Schaefer, Schaefer to the 40, Schaefer to the 50, 45 yard line and close to the first down at the 46. Didn't give him a very good spot. They'll stop him short of the first down, just outside the 45. Now they say they're gonna measure and there's no way the first down was picked up. Bring the chains across. And it's shy by about a half a yard. So third down, short for Ottawa, just shy of their 46. Fourteen to eight, Lewisburg. 8.48 to play, third period. Third down, Cyclone. Graff under center. Quarterback sneak. Graff fought forward and got the first down. Needed a half a yard, picked up a full yard. And the Cyclones will move the chain. Andre Lewis brings the play in from the bench. He replaces Wallace. Graf out of the shotgun. To throw. Throws deep down the field for Lewis. He's stopped away at the last minute. Fine defensive play by DJ Meyer. The pass was just slightly underthrown. Lewis had a step on the defender, but Meyer was able to knock it away. Not a bad gamble right there by the Cyclone. Second and 10 at the Ottawa 47. Reed and Lewis go wide to the right, Dillard wide left. Now Reed comes this way. Hand off to Schaefer. Schaefer across midfield, fighting his way forward to the 48 yard line. That'll be a gain of five and bring up a third down five. Actually closer to six yard pickup for Schaefer. Graf got the play call from the bench. Third down four. It's being shown. Hand off to Schaefer, and Schaefer fights his way forward, still on his feet, but short of the first down. He's going to be shy by about a yard and a half. See what Ottawa elects to do here. And the punt unit will come on. Chris 
chase, drops back at single safety. Up back is the backup quarterback, Dalton Whitell. Good snap. Peoples will get a floater away. It will take a Lewisburg bounce and roll dead at the 24-yard line. Not a very good kick that time, only 21 yards. Wildcats will have it at the 24, first and 10, with 6.34 to play, third period. And it's a 14-8 Lewisburg lead. High formation. Inside handoff to Hub. Lost the ball, picked up by Dalton Graves. He's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Ottawa. Well, that's high the ball game at 14. Cyclones will go for two. It'll be Wallace and Dillard wide to the left. Graf out of the shotgun. Look, hands it off to Schaefer. Schaefer fighting forward, did not get in. The two point conversion failed. There's timeout on the field with 6.27 to play third period. And the score, Ottawa 14, Lewisburg 14. Kickoff in 30 seconds. This is Cyclone Football on KOFO. Now get the identity theft protection you need from your checking account. Arvest Bank's new ID Protect service monitors credit for eligible family members in your household, gives you quarterly access to your credit report and score, alerts you of suspicious activity, provides assistance if theft occurs, and reimburses certain costs to restore your credit. ID Protect is available with any Arvest checking account. For more information, stop by a branch or visit Arvest.com. Arvest Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions may apply. Ottawa ties it up. 22-yard fumble recovery by Dalton Graves. Whitehill will kick it away. Cup and O'Connor back deep for the Wildcats. Punch kick this time. Between the two receivers, O'Connor will pick it up at the 15, and he'll get it out to around the 30. And that's where Lewisburg will start this drive. Lot it at the 29, first and 10. Good receivers left. Ryan will hand it off to Hub. Gets it across the 30. Stripped of the football. Was he down? This time it's out of his football. Corey Peoples took it away. So Ottawa's going to have it at the 28, first and 10. game comes Ethan Jackson along with Taylor Graff. Otto's going to need to get up to the line here pretty quickly. Graff will work from the shotgun. He's flanked by Reed and Schaefer. Back to throw. 
has a screen set up and the pass is incomplete. Thrown too hard for Schaefer up around his shoulders. And second down coming up. That appeared to be pretty well designed, although there were a couple of Lewisburg players coming up quickly. And we had early movement. Ball start against Ottawa. And it'll be second down, 15. Fourteen, fourteen ties, six oh seven to play third period. Scores the pass along to you after this next play. Off goes to Schaefer, sidesteps one man, and gets it inside the 30, back near the original line of scrimmage. And it'll be third down now, and about 10. And third and 11 at the 30. Again, Central Heights was on top of Osawatomi, 20 to nothing at half. Baldwin leading St. James Academy, 24 to 14 in the third period. And at half, Kedora 19, DeSoto 14. Receivers each side. Grab the throw under pressure, rolling away from it. Now it needs to get rid of it. It does. It was intended out there for Zach Dillard, but thrown short of him, and it'll bring up a fourth down situation. Kevin Adams plays into the ball game for Ottawa. Fourth down 11. They need to get the ball to the 19 yard line. Graf, straight drop. Now looks down the field, throwing it up for grabs. Pass is going to be incomplete. It was intended down there for Zach Dillard. Double coverage on the play, and Lewisburg is held on down. Cyclones unable to take advantage of the strip by Corey Peoples. Berg has it back, first and 10 at its own 30. Lay to the deep back, and he's smothered before he reaches the line of scrimmage. That was O'Connor. They say he got back to the line of scrimmage, it'll be second and 10. Sitting down, 4.17 to play third period. Two up back for Lewisburg. And Ottawa into the neutral zone. Looks like Vicki Jensen jumped across. Second and five. Double 
tight formation. Pitch back to O'Connor. O'Connor is stopped short of the first down after a gain of maybe three. Corey Peoples in on the stop for Ottawa. And third down and two. Ryan pitches it back to O'Connor, who turns the corner, got the first down, and then was clotheslined. And that'll be a penalty against the Cyclones. And it'll be another 15-yard mark-off. Picked up first down yardage, and they'll tack on 15 after that. Well, that hurts for a couple of reasons. Boy, they, they marked quite a bit off there. No, I guess that's right. 15 yards from the end of the play there. The ball, the Ottawa 43, first down 10. Keeping is O'Brien. O'Brien gets back to the 41-yard line for a gain of a couple. Ford Ferguson has been on the stop. Second down and eight as the clock moves inside. Three minutes to play, third period. And a 14 all tie. Thinking into the line is O'Brien rolling left and now decides to pull it down and run. He's got the first down. And he'll be stopped at around the 30-yard line. Brian made a nice fake into the line that time and then found some running room along that far sideline. First and 10, Lewisburg at the Cyclone 31. Connor off the right guard, gets down to the 27, picks up about three. On second down, seven, double tight, chase the wide receiver this side. And off on the trap to Bird, and Bird gets close to the first down at around the seven or 22-yard line. He'll be shy by about a yard. People made the stop. Down in the backfield, Kate Schaefer from his linebacker spot. O'Connor was trying to bounce to the outside, and Schaefer stayed right with him. Fourth down and about a yard and a half. Again, double tight. O'Connor left guard, has an opening, he's into the end zone, touchdown Lewisburg. So Lewisburg retakes the lead. Dan 
Antiac will try the extra point. And the kick is going to be good. Just inside the left upright. 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. Lewisburg 21, Ottawa 14. We'll have the kickoff for you in 30 seconds. This is Cyclone Football on KOFO. Advantage Ford in Ottawa has the best selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs in all makes and models in the area. And we are the only new car dealership to offer in-house dealer finance. Everyone is approved at Advantage Ford. Come visit us today at Advantage Ford, 402 North Main in Ottawa, 785-242-5100, or visit us online at AdvantageFordOttawa.com. Generations of Americans have depended... 70-yard drive after Lewisburg stopped Ottawa on down. And third time that Daniel O'Connor has reached pay dirt tonight. Griffey and Lewis back deep for the Cyclones. Nansbiak will try a little we'll, uh, kick off for the Wildcats. High kick that Griffey will field at the pin. Griffey to the 20, up the middle, across the 25 to the 29-yard line. Ottawa has it with 44 seconds to play, third period, down by seven. The high school football scoreboard show tonight for you at 10 o'clock on KOFO. Tomorrow, college football from People's Bank Field in Ottawa. Ottawa University Braves taking on the University of St. Mary Spires. Clock kick, 5 o'clock pregame on KOFO. Pitch back goes to Schaefer on first down. Trying to get around the corner, and Schaefer got a yard, maybe two. Body just shy of the 30, so second down nine. Beautiful evening for football. And Ottawa's going to let the clock run out here. We have reached the end of the third quarter. With the score, Lewisburg 21, Ottawa 14. We'll be back in one minute. You're listening to Cyclone Football on 1220 Country, KOFO. Generations of Americans have depended on the Arco Air brand for comfort combined with value. Hands-on engineering expertise with the latest advances in technology give Arco Air cooling and heating systems high ratings for both efficiency and durability. For a free home comfort consultation, call Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling. 242-9273. Adams and Brothers, your local Arco Air dealer at First and Walnut in Ottawa. Arco Air, 100% reliable, 100% comfort. Here's another safety tip from Performance Electric. As the fall and winter temperatures arrive, you might be considering adding extra heat to your cold rooms of your home with space heaters. It's a good idea to hire a licensed electrician to inspect the branch circuit and wiring to see if it can handle the extra load. If not, you might need a dedicated circuit. Overloading the wiring is a fire hazard. Call Performance Electric in Ottawa at 785-242-5748. That's 242-5748. One quarter to go, Lewisburg up by seven. Ottawa has a second down and nine at their own 30-yard line. Cyclones come up. Wrap under center. Inside handoff goes to Cole Reed and maybe a yard out to the 31. Check that that was Kevin Adams on the carry. Third down and eight. Between 
receivers this side and twins to the far side of the field. Raft to throw. He's under pressure. Rolling left, throwing left, and under throws Kevin Adams at the 50. He's being pressured out there by Connor Cook. And Ottawa will have to punt. Back deep, he has already returned to punt for 37 yards here tonight. Not much of a rush. Peoples will kick it away from Chase. And it'll roll inside the Lewisburg 40 and be down to the 38. 31-yard kick, no return, and now the Cyclone defense with a job to do. Whispered drove 70 yards the last time they had the football. First and 10, and the Wildcats will use the double tight formation. Pitch back going to O'Connor. O'Connor cuts it against the grain, but only got about three before Cole Reed caught him from behind. Second down, seven, 10.52 to go. Far side. Connor once again, and Schaefer hits him with the 43 and drops him after a two yard gain. Daniel O'Connor has been the workhorse here tonight for Lewisburg. It's third down five. back to O'Connor, and he tries to get to the outside, is dragged down short of the first down on a fine tackle by Taylor Graff. Fourth down and a long two. That unit comes on. will kick it. Far sideline. The ball gets a nice roll. Rolls inside the 10. It'll be down at the 8. Referee's conferring at about the 50-yard line about something. There's a flag down on the field. Ball start. Mark Bergen will want to take that penalty. Much more of that Australian style punting style. Got a good one. Type of kick will almost always take a roll in your favor. If you kick it away from the receiver, keep any kind of return under drafts. This time Ottawa sends two receivers back. Schaefer will join Griffey. There's the kick, and Griffey dropped it, and now the ball will roll out of bounds, fortunately for the Cyclones. Griffey could not catch it. It was a knuckleball, and it rolled out of bounds at about the 30. So with 8.56 to go, the Cyclones have it back, trailing by 
seven, 21 to 14. up on first and ten. Graff will work from the shotgun. And off to Schaefer. And then Graff pulls it back. Tries to make something out of nothing. And is going to lose about five yards. And again, it was a lazy snap from center that caused that play to blow up. That ball just seemed to hang in midair. The loss of four, second and 14. Corey Peoples will enter the Ottawa lineup. Ottawa's got to get up to the line here pretty quickly. Graff will work from under center. And off to Schaefer, up the middle, not much there, maybe a yard or two. Third down long. Lewis will bring the play call in. So Ethan Jackson checked in. Reed and Schaefer, the running back. Graff, straight drop, now rolls right, looks across the middle, has Lewis, and he dropped it. It was not an easy catch for Andre, but it was a catchable ball, and he's rolled out of his arms. Cyclones will have to kick it away with 7.03 to go. Three people standing at about his own 15-yard line. Snap. Kick is a line drive kick. Takes an Ottawa roll inside the 40. And will roll dead at the 34. So a pretty good kick by Corey Peoples right there. Of 38 yards, no return. 54 to play. Lewisburg with the football up by seven. here on the offense on first down. Huff gets the call. Doesn't get much. Out to around the 35 for a gain of a half yard. Wildcats come up with single receivers each side. Keeping is O'Brien looking to throw, has a man, and the pass is knocked away by Corey Peoples. It was intended for Huff coming out of the backfield, and Peoples was able to break it up. And it's third down nine. Stop with 6.17 to go. Time O'Brien out of the shotgun. He'll pull it down, try to run it, and he will have the first down at the 45. Ottawa was not prepared for that.
Was it O'Brien or was it a direct snap to O'Connor? Must have been a direct snap to Daniel O'Connor right there out of the Wildcat formation. So big first down. Lewisburg keeps the drive alive and the clock once again moving. Pitch back goes to Hupp. Looking to turn the corner, stiff arms a man, stiff arms another, and is into Ottawa territory at the 48-yard line. That's a gain of seven. Looked like a busted play, and turned out that O'Brien had to kind of shovel pass it over to Hub. It was supposed to be a straight pitch. Second down three. Lock now becoming an ally of the Wildcats, although it stopped as Hupp went out of bounds on that last carry. Inside handoff to Burb, and he breaks the tackle, has the first down at the 44. Ottawa had him in the backfield and couldn't bring him to the ground. Change the move once again, and the clock will start up with 5.40 to go. Ryan had gone over to the sidelines to get the play call from Gary Griffin. for Hupp off the right side, breaks tackles, and picks up about eight. Luke Hupp at six foot, 220 pounds, just ran through Cyclones that time. Got eight yards, it'll be second down and two. Hupp is actually the deep back in this formation. Get it again. He'll have the first down to around the 33. And the Cyclones have got to dig in deep now. Inside, five minutes to go. First and 10, Lewisburg at the Ottawa 33. Wildcats lead the Cyclones 21-14. side and delay a game penalty. Well, the Wildcats took too much time there. First and 15 for Lewisburg. And that stops the clock with 4.30 to play. under center. He'll hand it off to Hub. Hub tripped up as he gets near the original line of scrimmage. Picked up five, maybe six. Spotted at the 33 where it'll be second down nine. In, running hard straight up the middle and near the first down to the 24. Third 
down and a couple. Short two out there. Ryan under center. He'll hand it to Hub, and he'll have the first down to the 20. And now Ottawa's got to start burning timeout. Just shy of the 20 yard line, first down 10. will run. It'll be down inside three minutes uh, after this next play. Up again off the left side. Breaks it to the outside. Trying to turn the corner and is dragged down by Andre Lewis at the 15. That might have been a touchdown saving tackle. Pick up a five. Actually a six yard pickup, second down and four. I'm a little surprised Mark Bergen hasn't burned a timeout. Not only to stop the clock and but also to get his defense short up. Lewisburg's been running right through the Cyclone defense here on this possession. Up again, hit the backfield and drop for a loss. And it was Corey Peoples coming up from his linebacker spot. And now Ottawa will use its first time out. With a mid-52 to play, the score is Lewisburg 21, Ottawa 14. We're back in 30 seconds. And you're listening to Ottawa High Football on KOFO. We are your sports source for East Central Kansas. We're keeping you informed comes first. KOFO Ottawa, KMXN HD2 Osage City. ABC Monday. Get your all access pass to country's night through rock. CMA Music Festival with Carrie Underwood, Faith Hill, Keith Urban, Rascal Flatts, Little Big Town, Blake Shelton, Lady Antebella, and more. You can't get any closer to country music hottest stars. Unbelievable! Hosted by Luke Bryan and the band Perry, Kimberly Perry. Any surprises we can expect? Yes. The CMA Music Festival, Monday at 8, 7 central on ABC. Inside two minutes to play, Lewisburg has its third down and eight. Up on the carry, hit at the 15, and stop there. And the Cyclones will use their second timeout. They stop the clock with 144 to play. Lewisburg on top, 21-14. We're back at 30 seconds. This is Ottawa High School Football on KOFO. Hey, what's happening? I'm Right Brand Bacon, the bigger, better bacon. When you bite in the Right Brand Bacon, it's like... DJ Bacon dropping a beat in a packed bacon disco in your mouth. I'm so meaty and delicious, I'm like candy. When you fry me up, I smell so good, it draws a crowd like free money. I'm so tempted. Right brand bacon, bigger, better bacon. Find out more at biggerbetterbacon.com. 144 to play, it's fourth down and three for Lewisburg. Interesting decision here for Gary Griffin, got a pretty good kicker in Jason Danziak, and a field goal here would pretty much ice the game, but so would a first down, and the offensive unit has come onto the field. Offset eye, 
And off to Huff, trying to get around the corner, and he'll be smothered back and around the 19-yard line. So Ottawa's held on down, and they had the ball with a minute 39 to go, and one timeout went remaining. the decision there by Lewisburg because so many things could go wrong on a field goal attempt and it would have been an attempt of around 30 yards, 31 maybe. Certainly not a chip shot. Twin receivers left, single man right. Graf under center. Throws a quick pass out on the bubble screen to Schaefer. Looking for some running room, breaks the tackle, and he will get out of bounds as he reaches the 27-yard line. That'll stop the clock with a minute 32 to go. Second down and two. Twins left, single receiver right, or check them the other way around. Twins right, single receiver left. Grab the throw, throws down the sidelines for Schaefer, and knocked away, and nearly intercepted by Nate O'Brien. Grab threw that ball into double coverage, and O'Brien had a good beat on it, but be third down in a couple with the clock stopped at minute 26 to play. handoff and looks like first down yardage. For full read. So we'll have to check and see. It might be short. We'll have to measure it. like it's very close, but if I were going to guess, I'd say maybe short by the nose of the football. And it is actually a first down by the length of the football. A lot of needs to come up quickly as the clock will start when they get those chains set. And at 21 to play, Ottawa down seven. And the clock will go as Ottawa comes up to the line. Blitz coming from the outside. Graf rolling right, got a block, pass is incomplete. It was intended for Schaefer, thrown into traffic. Graf was able to roll away from the pressure from Colin Bird. Clock stop with a minute four to go. lone man in the backfield. Graf across the middle and incomplete. Might have been interference, but no flag. So third down 10.
all the 29 yard line. Cyclones need to be concerned about taking a first down yardage here. And trips this side. Grab for the shotgun, bad snap. And it's pulled down by Reed in the backfield, but he'll be brought down for a big loss back at around the 18-yard line. And the Cyclone centers have done a poor job of snapping in the shotgun formation tonight. And now Ottawa will use its final timeout. With 50 seconds to play, it's Lewisburg 21, Ottawa 14. Back at 30 seconds, this is Ottawa High Football on KOFO. Listen up, everybody. This is Flo with a progressive insurance alert. Uh -uh. Don't even try to change that channel. I'm on all of them. So, you already know Snapshot rewards our customers for their good driving. Well, now anyone can test drive Snapshot for free, even if you have insurance with another company. See how much you could save before you switch your insurance. Also, I'm offering kazoo lessons on Saturdays. <clears throat> test drive Snapshot today. Visit Progressive.com slash Snapshot. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. Snapshot not available in all states. Ottawa has it now. Fourth down and 21. They need to reach 39 and a half. 50 seconds left on the clock. Hedrick talking to the offensive unit. Lewisburg has five defensive backs playing about 15 yards off the line of scrimmage. Graff back to throw on fourth down. Rolls away from the pressure. Looks downfield. Throws deep down the field. The pass is incomplete. It was intended for Caden Schaefer. And Lewisburg will take over with 43 seconds to go. Wildcats should be able to go into victory formation here. And O'Brien will take a knee. He'll need to do that one more time. 